What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parents New Training. So today, I'm going to unbox another monitor. Now, this time I got the another 27-inch LG QHD monitor. This one, the model number is 27QN600. I will put all the product information down in the description below. So if you have been following our channel, I've been building a video editing setup for YouTube. And what I want to find is best bang for the buck. Right now, what I'm aiming for is for the 27-inch class. Usually for a video editing monitor, uh, this 27-inch is usually about like 2K in terms of screen resolution. This particular one was on sale for well, uh, just right under $230 on Amazon when I was purchasing it. And the 34-inch one was only $20 more. Now, but I was thinking 34 inch might be a little bit too big and too up close where I was sitting for me to use it. So it might be a little bit too big. So I picked up another 27 inch. If you remember, I did a video monitor unboxing and testing like a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, that one was for the Asus. And this one, I picked it up because it's cheap, cheaper than the Asus one. So let me see whether or not I should keep the Asus or keep the LG one. Anyway, today I'm just going to unbox it and then go see how I compare against the ACES. This one is actually a little bit easier to unbox compared to the ACES whole art. Uh, anyway, so you can see uh, right on top, here is the monitor base. It's much smaller and more elegant than the ACES. And what else we have here is the power port. We have, uh, this is HDMI. Oh, cool. This one actually came with a display port cable. So that's pretty neat. Okay, what is this? This is the uh, owner's menu. Kind of odd is uh, considered nowadays who owns a CD player. And let's see, LG Electronic, protect your investment. So I think this is the warranty card. What else they have here? I think so, the setup menu. This is the handle. Okay, here is the monitor itself. I feel like the whole thing is actually much lighter than the ACES. Alright, so here is the monitor. I think it might be easier for me to set up with the face down. Alright, so they do have arrows pointing where this uh, indentation uh, bracket goes so just be mindful of that all right they also have a little screw on the bottom of the stand so it's easy to put this in there's only one way to go in there's an indentation here on the handle so this base can only go in one way all right here is the monitor let me go set it up and see how it fair compared to the aces all right so i have the two monitors side by side so on the left you will see my aces pro art monitor and on the left is the lg 27QN600-B monitor. So some of the things I really like about this LG monitor is that it is a IPS display. So it doesn't matter if you're viewing from the left, from the right, or from top or different angle, you will see the same color throughout. And also as three side borderless design. So if you decide to have multiple different monitors, this might be a really good option because if you put them all together side by side, 
you are probably not going to see much of the gap in between because of the borderless design. The color range for this one, the sRGB is 99%. So it can display a lot of colors. And also it has AMD free sync. So yeah, if you work on your video or photo for quite some time and you want to game a little, this is perfect for casual gamers. I really like the, how the base design is. It is very elegant and they kind of blend in with the monitor because it's all black. Now it's perfect for on my desk because my desk is black right now. Uh, it works really well together in terms of the color scheme and everything. All right, so those were the things I really like about this monitor. Now let's talk about the things I don't like about it. And the stuff that I don't like about it, uh, they kind of like the deal breakers for me. Now for one, it's not as ergonomic as the Asus. You can only tell and it can only tell negative 5 to 20 degree compared to the aces where it can tell pivot swirl and adjustable height so if i want the lg to do all those things that the aces can then i really have to get a monitor arm in order to do that secondly to me it might be just me but i get tired easily with this lg monitor i have tried to adjust the brightness of the monitor and even adjust the, some of the settings but i still get tired easily by looking at it as opposed to the aces i can work on it for hours without my eyes getting discomfort that's a pretty big deal uh, if I want to use that monitor to do editing because usually doing editing it takes a long time. So the last point I want to mention, and this is the final deal breaker for me, is that this monitor is just not as good as the Asus Pro Arc when it comes down to editing photos and videos. Now it is great for watching a video on this monitor, but it's not that great to do editing. So ever since I've been using the Asus Pro Arc, so I can actually see what I have shot on the monitor. Compared to the LG, it's just not quite there. I just feel that the color is somehow not as vibrant as the Pro R. Essentially, it comes down to because I have worked with a better monitor, <laughs> this one just doesn't cut it as well as the Pro R. But for people who are just doing an upgrade, and if you're on a budget want to just upgrade from your 1080p to something a little bit better for editing video and uh, sometime for gaming then this one is perfect for that budget oriented folks out there because it's not that expensive it's only 200 less than 230 dollars and it's much cheaper alternative compared to the asus pro Art. but if you want something that's much better in terms of ergonomic, in terms of easy on the eyes and uh, better with uh, editing videos and photos then I think the Ace is still the monitor to go with. But anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.